How's it going, YouTube? This is Eric here with OneHive 2.0, bringing you a live attack from OneHive Labs. Let's go ahead and get Whistle in here, and we can go ahead and get started with the planning stages. Alright, so we're looking at base 20 here for Whistle to attack. Um, well, let's go ahead and explain to him how you're kind of like going to attack your Whistle. Yeah, I'm going to use something fun here. Uh, I'm going to use a thing called Hocus Pocus, which is a mass witch raid. And uh, why is that going to be good for this base here? I'm just, you know, Hocus Pocus is kind of kind of a campy attack, but uh, when you have a base that has 60% plus, like I'm drawing here, open, and uh, it's somewhat of a troll base, you might people might have seen these farming. These skellies do so much damage, and when you have, I have 15, is that eight skellies a pop? I'm looking at 3,000 damage per second, all. No walls, uh, nothing really to worry about except for splash damage. And uh, these type type of, I guess, war composition works really well on these open bases like this. Yeah, so what else do you bring in other than the, the 15 witches you said? I bring, uh, I'm bringing team witches. I'm going to bring one golem, my CC, a couple, I'm bringing four wall breakers, six uh, wizards, and one valk. Okay, what's the hope of the wall breakers? Is it getting kind of over, over here? Or where are we looking? Um, no, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm kind of a, kind of gonna use them maybe to break in on this back side. I'm, I was gonna lay a jump um, right to the town hall. Uh, being a cleanup tack, I, mean, I, you know, have two Teslas sitting here. And uh, he has Lego walls in the core. And, you know, even at a lot of damage per second, I don't want to spend too much time banging on these walls, so I'm just going to jump into that core, and then I, f I figure the wall breakers will break one of the side of the walls, so I can funnel stuff in, or both of them, if they're, if they're separated like that. Kind of an insurance. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you said you're bringing a jump, what other three spells are you bringing with you? I'm bringing a, a jump, two hills, and a lightning. I'm playing a lightning at CC. So my golem doesn't take too much of a too much of a hit when he's moving around. Yeah, for sure. So where you're deploying witches from bottom side, I'm assuming. Any specific order, or you kind of try to do them towards the center more? Or what are you thinking with that? I think uh, I think they're just going to go on the bottom. Uh, I'm probably going to do a two finger drop or three finger drop uh, <laughs> <laughs> for witches there. You know they're gonna they're gonna split. You know that that uh, golem's gonna go straight for this cannon, and then my hope is, and from the the space counting, he'll go, he'll stop here, and then he'll go to that archer tower. Or, I mean, excuse me, the air defense. But uh, he may not. They may split. So I brought a valk um, to lay over here with a few wizards um, in case in case that happens, so that I can push that golem up a little bit, and then when that CC comes out. Uh, you know, I'll probably zap them somewhere through here. Then it, then it's uh, sit and wait, basically. Yeah, for sure. And then are you bringing anything to the back end, or are you just kind of putting everything down here? No, I don't have anything planned for the back end. Um, I figure um, the only thing that really can foil this raid uh, on a mass switch raid are your splash damage. So once I have three taken out, and these three taken out. Um, there's nothing else on this map that can. One thing that's going to get me is time. If I if I successfully take any splash damage out. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, anything else before you go ahead and three star this? Uh, n no. I, I hope I do. I've never actually done this in war. I've I've, I've done it one other time, and uh, it, went, it went okay. I didn't get the three star, but that was. The town hall 10, so. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and show them the live version. All right, here we go. I'm gonna, I guess I'll confirm here. Got everything. All right, here we go. Good luck. I'm going to wait a couple seconds there. Start right here.
Right, here we go. Alright, so we got Whistle coming in here with Hocus Pocus. Coming in from the south side with a two finger draw. Getting his valve to help with the funnel as long as his. Same with his witches. I'm sorry, wizards. Look at those skeletons go. Holy cow. Coming in, that thing was 15 witches he said he's having in. Skeletons are going to take out all the bombs and he has a lightning to go to CC, which goes really well. Very lightning drop. And now he's just going to kind of play the waiting game almost. He's got his spells to do. He's got both of the hero's abilities still. Meeting up with the queen. And that's going to kind of pull the witches and everything else just over that way. He's got a great jump placed. Going to go straight to the core, which we know there's two testicles in there. And now it's just kind of depending on how the witches funnel. The witches are going, it looks like mostly to the left. Yeah, I think I got it. All that splash damage is out. It's yeah, like he's still got a heal. Another decent heal. Those Teslas right there might pull my wall break. How did my king get all the way over there? Did you see that? Holy cow, yeah. <laughs> what in the world? I've never seen a jump like that before. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have to watch that again. Yeah, it's, you got plenty of time to knock them the coins. Yeah, you got a whole heal up. Got like over 100 skeletons probably running still. <laughs> That's crazy attack, man. Oh, that double giant bomb just took out a lot of Larry's. <laughs> no more defenses left. That's game over, folks. Inside two minutes, too. Look at that. Yeah, well, great attack by Whistle. Glad we could give one Hive Labs a three star attack. Talk about breaking the habit. Yeah, breaking the habit for sure. Right on. All right, well, great attack, Whistle. We're going to go over kind of what you did now. Well, that went well, didn't it? Absolutely. Great attack. Let's kind of go over why you did what you did. I mean, why I did what I did? Yeah, just <laughs> your mind process. The attack. Well, I was really concerned about the splash damage right there on the right side with the queen. That's why I came in with that heal. That lightning worked out so good. I didn't, I didn't expect it to work out as well as it was going to. I figured I'd have some slough left over, but yeah, there's some pretty good stuff all. in this raid that uh, you're going to see through here. But how cool is it just to see all those little Larry's running around. Like. <laughs> yeah, those are, I can't believe how many there are. That's actually, it's a, definitely a different attack. It's awesome to watch that. So, you, why'd you drop them all at the bottom? Like that? You just kind of anticipated them to go all push towards the middle like that? Yeah, yeah I figured the, the clumps up, the better. You know, I wanted, to, I wanted to push it. And you know, those Larry's would, would spread as it was. And, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't lose a whole lot, but I, I, lost, I lost a few there on that left side. Um, well, it's just that I dropped that jump spell for that, that, those Teslas, like I said, uh, before all those, all those Larry's jump in, we take out the town hall pretty easy. Got a good split. Queen saw his ability. Look at that and, jump. And then watch the jump from the, <laughs> the, the King and some Larry's just that I've never seen that before. like six walls. <laughs> he had most of his health until he got over there and it's just him now. <laughs> yeah. That was, was pretty actually, crazy. That was awesome to see that. I've never seen a King jump that far before. But I was actually I was actually a little concerned right here on this right side because that Tesla was doing some work. But I think it's because I don't you don't realize how many little skeletons are out there. You know they tank so much. Yeah, that was honestly just a great attack. I mean, it was the perfect base for it, like you said. So great job picking the base to yeah. go ahead and get another attack in on. And as you guys saw before, it was already three stars, so we're just out here using practice attacks now. So. Great attack again, Whistle. Awesome that we can produce a live three-star for him. Yeah, man, that was pretty cool. Pretty fun, too. Uh, it's good to good to switch it up a little bit when you when you got a pretty good lead and some wars. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, thanks, Whistle. Yeah, no problem, man.